Hello. <laughs> it's day five of 12 books of 12 days, not 12 books, 12 days of book club mess, which is 12 short stories. I just finished the story for day five and this is the present for it. It's in a little baggy. That looks like books on a bookshelf, which is cute. I wasn't really into the story. It's kind of weird. I didn't fully understand it either. It was kind of strange. The story was called Lost in the Threads by Masia Sidat. I think you might know what this is. What do you think it is? Like, a like carpet rug thingy. A carpet rug? Like a rug or a carpet or something. Because it feels like kind of squishy-ish. Well, the story was about a woman named Robin and a guy named Mateo. I guess they they were either husband and wife or boyfriend, girlfriend, something like that, living together. And they are some kind of thieves, like, you know, like Mission Impossible kind of like thieves or something. And they work for this guy... Or they work for someone named Chief. They answer to this person called Chief. And Chief has has decided to send them on a mission to rob this museum. It's like a famous museum. National History Museum or something. And... All throughout the book, the couple quotes different, um, like, famous stories and stuff. They're constantly, yeah, the Natural History Museum, that's what it, They're supposed to rob that and take this tapestry. That's all that, that the guy wants, or the chief wants them to do, is to break in and get this really old, ancient tapestry from, like, the Aztec days or something and escape and Mateo is really good with computers so he hacks into like the security system and and, uh, and makes the cameras where they're kind of on a loop and showing the same feed over and over again so that when they're running around the museum they're not being shown on the cameras it's showing the same loop feed that doesn't have anything on it or something and they use like knockout gas stuff to like gas the security guards and they climb on ropes up the roof and you know it's very um like some sort of master thief a heist you know situation and and they quote different stories to each other all the time and like they quote each other lines from stories like to Kill a Mockingbird and Jane Eyre and there's tons of different quotes in here. This short story. They're trying to take a table runner from the Mayan, not Aztec, Mayan civilization circa 1500. And when they're looking at the this table runner, Mateo notices there's like a symbol that is his family crest or something. And so he's like, this table runner has something to do with my, my ancestors, my family, and it's important to me and I don't want to give it up to the chief. I want to keep it and do research on it and figure out how it's connected to my family. As they're performing the heist, the cops show up and they're surrounded and Robin like says, you know, I'm going to go and distract them or whatever. But Mateo thinks she's sacrificing herself to, so that he can escape. The cops end up like surrounding him outside and they have lights shining in his face and they're like, put your hands up, stop. 
He uses this like smoke bomb thing to escape. He like throws it down and it goes off. It's like, I don't know, stuff that's going to make them fall asleep or something. I don't know. And he escapes and runs and to where their car is. And he thinks that she has been probably arrested or possibly shot or something like that. But it, uh, she got away too. But she did get shot in like the shoulder and she's bleeding. And they make it to their van and they laminate the table runner like to keep it safe. To, to keep it from getting destroyed from the elements because it's a really old thing. And then they start, they get a marker and write on top of it. And they start writing all these different quotes that they know by heart, you know, from books and stuff like that all over it. Kind of strange. And they've decided they're not going to give it up to the chief. They're going to keep it themselves and they're going to go running around the world, you know, so they won't get caught by chief and I don't know what he would do execute them or something <laughs> so they're just gonna go they're gonna run for it with the table runner and keep it for themselves and travel around the world and try to research what how his family is connected to it and stuff it's, it's it was kind of a strange short story there was a lot of questions like what is this <laughs> it, it felt like there wasn't enough to it that it was kind of confusing so this feels kind of like a cloth thingy like my guess is that it might be that it might be a table runner because that's what the story was kind of about so that's my guess is that it's a table runner I kind of hope that it's not because I really don't have a use for a table runner. So I don't know. Uh, oh, maybe. Eh, it might be a table runner. Kind of looks like a shirt, but it's a really rough material. Can I see? You'll see when I get it out. Maybe it's a bag. It's a shirt? I don't think it's a shirt. It's a really rough. Thick burlap type material. Like I'm going that. to open it. Okay. So, I, know you're gonna... I think it's a bag. Ooh, like it's a bag. I no, maybe it's a table runner. Wow. It's so long. It's so long. Wait, over there. Open this. This is so long. Ah! <laughs> it's way too long. Yep, book quote, table runner. Oh my gosh, that table runner is so big. And it has quotes all down it. Oh my god, that's so I, big. I am not afraid of storms, for I am learning how to sail my ship. Louisa May Alcott. Alcott. Little Women. You never really understand a person until you consider things from his point of view, until you climb inside of his skin and walk around in it. Harper Lee to Kill a Mockingbird. There is always something left to love. Gabriel or Gabriel Garcia Marquez, 100 Years of Solitude. I don't know that one. I am no bird and no net ensnares me. I am a free human being with an independent will. I know that one. Charlotte Bronte, Jane Eyre, one of my favorites. I assign myself no rank or any limit and such an attitude is very much against the trend of the times. But my world has become one of infinite possibilities. Ralph Ellison, Invisible Man. The mark of the immature man is that he wants to die nobly for a cause, while the mark of the mature man is that he wants to live humbly for one. J.D. Salinger, Catcher in the Rye When you make loving others the story of your life, there's never a final chapter, because the legacy continues. You lend your light to one person, 
and he or she shines it on another and another and another. Oprah Winfrey, what I know for sure, you will become way less concerned with what other people think of you when you realize how seldom they do. David Foster Wallace, Infinite Jest. I don't know that one. Nothing in the world is ever completely wrong. Even a stopped clock is right twice a day. Paolo Paolo Brida. Let us go on and take the adventure that shall fall to us. C.S. Lewis, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. I am nothing special of this, I am sure. I am a common man with common thoughts, and I've led a common life. There are no monuments dedicated to me, and my name will soon be forgotten. But I've loved another with all my heart and soul, and to me this has always been enough. Uh, oh, thank goodness she was being really loud. <laughs> I know that quote. That's Nicholas Sparks' The Notebook. Drive away and try to keep smiling. Get a little rock and roll on the radio and go toward all the life there is with all the courage you can find and all the belief you can muster. Be true, be brave, stand, all the rest is darkness. Stephen King. It. Hmm. It is only with the heart that one can rightly what is essential is invisible to the eye. Antoine de Saint Exupery, The Little Prince. I haven't read that one yet. Beware, for I am fearless and therefore powerful. Mary Shelley Frankenstein. If my life is going to mean anything, I have to live it to myself. Rick Riordan, The Lightning Thief. Once upon a time, there was a boy who loved a girl, and her laughter was a question he wanted to spend his whole life answering. Nicole Krauss, The History of Love. I wish as well as everybody else to be perfectly happy, but like everybody else, it must be in my own way. Jane Austen, Sense and Sensibility. I had the epiphany that laughter was light and light was laughter and that this was the secret of the universe. Donna Tartt, The Goldfinch. Brave doesn't mean you're not scared. It means you go on even though you're scared. Angie Thomas. The hate you give, she decided long ago that life was a long journey. She would be strong and she would be weak and both would be okay. Ta Tahare Mafi. Furthermore, you are your best thing. Tony Morrison. Beloved, even the dark this night will end and the sun will rise. Victor Hugo, Les Miserables. There is nothing sweeter in this sad world than the sound of someone you love calling your name. Kate de Camillo, The Tale of Despero. Love doesn't just sit there like a stone. It has to be made like bread. Remade all the time, made new. Ursula K. Le Guin, the lath, lathe of heaven. People are capable at any time in their lives of doing what they dream of. Paulo Kahlo, the alchemist. So many things are possible just as long as you don't know they're impossible. Norton Jester, the phantom toll booth. All we have to decide is that is what to do with the time that is given to us. J.R.R. Tolkien, The Fellowship of the Ring. I dream, sometimes I think, so many things are possible just as long as you don't know they're impossible. Norton Jester, The Phantom Tollbooth. Okay. All we have to decide is what to do with the time that is given to us. J.R.R. Tolkien, The Fellowship of the Ring. I dream, sometimes I think that's the only th right thing to do. Haruki Mo... Murakami, Sputnik Sweetheart, art enables us to find ourselves and lose ourselves at the same time. Thomas Merton, no man is an island. If you don't imagine, nothing ever happens at all. John Green, Paper Towns, there are nearly infinite types of magic in the world if you know where to look. Catherine Locke, This Rebel Heart. My goodness, that's a lot of quotes. 
Oh, I feel like this is like Santa's list. It kind of looks like Santa's list, doesn't it? Of like good children. <laughs> <laughs> like I could wear it as a scarf. It is my, my favorite color, green. It's kind of weird. <sighs> I really don't have much use for it, but it's kind of cool, I guess. I do love books. Well... <sighs> I've fallen behind a little bit, so I actually need to read my day six story today, too, because it's actually day six. I know I've felt fallen way behind on posting these videos because I was going to post them on the day that I did it, but I fell behind. So they're going to be coming out later than that. And if I get caught up, it might be two or three videos in one day, but you know how it is. Um, so it's already 8.39 at night and I'm really tired. So I don't know if I will finish the other story tonight or not. I might read two tomorrow because I don't have work. And M does not have to go to school. And we can sleep in and we can do whatever we want all day long. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs>